there. Area of low pressure is driving our weather right now, bringing in that Gulf moisture, and it makes these upper 80s feel a little bit steamier. 91 right now in Asheville, 86 in Birmingham. Here's our game of the week and football forecast for you. Winona takes on Pleasant Grove this evening. That kickoff temperature should be at around 80 degrees. Again, a few stray showers possible for the kick, but drying out by the final whistle. Coverage of rain increases as we move into our holiday weekend, but it will drop off a bit by midweek. Overnight lows tonight from the upper 60s to low 70s, hugging that 70 degree mark. We'll bottom out at 72 here in Birmingham. But you see those rain chances tomorrow. Here's what it looks like on our weather map. So, our next weather maker is the rain. Some of those showers and storms starting as early as late morning could impact tailgaters. Look at Tuscaloosa, 2 o'clock tomorrow. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean each one of these thunderstorms on this map at this time will develop this time tomorrow, but this is a very, uh, what we call, good guidance. So, these scattered showers and storms will persist through the evening hours tomorrow. Something we'll have to watch out for from tailgating to game time to drive homes for our Saturday. Sunday, we'll see a near repeat performance. More scattered showers on tap. Some of these will produce locally heavy amounts of rainfall as we round out the weekend, and then we'll see a near repeat performance again on Monday. So here's a look at those ball games. Alabama, temperatures 82 for that kickoff. Again, scattered showers through fourth quarter. Please bring the poncho both in Tuscaloosa and on the plains as well. The rain chances will continue through your Labor Day on Monday. If you are beach bound this weekend, it's beautiful right now, but showers and storms will be going up as we head into Monday. And I also want to point out we have our first hurricane of the season. This is Hurricane Danielle, named just a little while ago. It makes the very first time that we've had that, again, hurricane and kind of the longest stretch that we've had. Um, in a while, 25 years as a matter of fact. All right, so uh, that peak of hurricane season occurs on September 10th, not too far away from that, and it looks like a tropical air mass is sitting over us through the end of next week.